dive into the world of a popular 60s TV show that still captures people's attention today. The 1966 series that girl stands out for its humor, surprises, and touching moments, continuing to appeal to viewers years after it first aired. The show was a trendsetter with its main character, Anne Marie, a young, single woman trying to make it as an actress in New York City. She faces life's ups and downs with hope and independence. But what keeps this show so appealing to audiences of all ages? How has it remained a favorite over the years? Maybe there's a particular scene or moment from the show that you remember fondly. It could be a funny line, a mix-up that made you laugh, or a heartfelt scene that made an impact. The show's simple yet charming way of storytelling often left a mark on its viewers. We'd love to hear your favorite memories or experiences with this series. Is there a special scene or episode from That Girl that means a lot to you? Sharing your stories helps keep the spirit of this beloved series alive. So, please tell us about them. Let's revisit the enjoyable journey of Anne Marie and see why this show continues to win over hearts even decades after it first appeared on TV. The TV series That Girl Stands Out in TV History because it showed what a young woman who was focused on her career, which was a new idea back then. The main character, Anne Marie, was different from the usual women characters on TV in the 1960s. She was more interested in her career and personal goals than getting married or staying at home, which gave viewers, especially women, a fresh perspective on what roles women can have. A lot of people, especially women who were starting to follow similar career paths, really connected with the show. It wasn't just fun to watch. It also gave people, especially women, the idea that they could be independent and follow their dreams. The character show would that a woman's story doesn't have to revolve around a man, which was a big change and helped set the stage for more TV shows with strong, independent female characters. Today, we still talk about the show because it was one of the first to do this. Many TV shows now have independent women in the lead, and that can be traced back to the path that girl made. Anne-Marie is a good example and reminds us of how the portrayal of women in shows has changed over time. The things she dealt with, like finding herself, having ambition, and being strong, are things that people can still relate to. The show was also funny and charming, which made it enjoyable for a lot of people. It was good at mixing humor with serious topics, which made it both fun and meaningful. In short, that girl is an important part of TV history because it showed what a new kind of female character mixing humor and serious themes. It's a classic that people of all ages still like because of the way it changed how women were shown on TV. The 1966 TV series really changed how TV shows, movies, and other media were made afterward. It was one of the first to have a main character who was a young woman with a career. Before this show, most women on TV were mostly seen doing housework or playing small roles. This show was different because it showed what a woman in a more important and relatable role which really connected with viewers, especially women. This change led to more TV shows with women in the main roles, doing jobs, and living lives that weren't just about being at home. These new shows were a lot like the 1966 series because they mixed funny moments with real-life problems, making them enjoyable and true to life. The show didn't just change TV. It also influenced how stories were told in movies and other media. Seeing strong, believable women became more common in all kinds of stories, not just comedies. These women had goals, faced difficulties, and grew over time, which was different from the usual, simpler roles women had before. The show also changed how women were shown in terms of fashion and lifestyle in movies and TV shows. The main character's style and way of living influenced how other shows and films show with women's fashion, independence, and career choices. It's important to remember that while this series was a big deal, it wasn't the only show at that time with a strong female character. But its special mix of humor, real-life problems, and a relatable main character made its influence more noticeable over time. People still like the series today because it connects with audiences of all ages. It was a pioneer in showing a woman handling both her job and personal life with humor and confidence. When we look at how TV and media have evolved, the role of this series in changing how women are shown on screen shows how important and influential it was. The character Anne Marie, known from the popular series, made her final appearance in an unexpected format. This occurred in an animated special titled That Girl in Wonderland, which aired several years after the original show's conclusion. 
This special, produced by Rankin and Bass, was broadcast on ABC in the early 1970s and represented a unique continuation of the character's journey in a completely different medium. An interesting detail about the series lies in its depiction of New York City, particularly in the opening credits of the first season. Here, viewers see Anne Marie walking through Times Square, surrounded by the buzz of Broadway. Notably, the marquees of several theaters display shows like Philadelphia, Here I Come, Cabaret, and Neil Simon's The Star Spangled Girl. However, these three shows never ran concurrently, highlighting a creative blend of reality and fiction in the series' portrayal of the city. The series also pays attention to specific locations within New York, adding to its authentic feel. For instance, Anne Marie's building is located on West 78th Street. This attention to detail is seen in various episodes, such as when she interacts with characters from different parts of the city, like the young boy David from 89th Street. This geographical specificity helped ground the show in a real place, making the characters' experiences more relatable to those familiar with New York City. In conclusion, these aspects of the series from its unique continuation in an animated format to the careful integration of real life, New York City elements contribute to its lasting appeal and cultural significance. These details not only enrich the storytelling, but also anchored the show in a tangible reality, allowing viewers to connect more deeply with Anne Marie's adventures in the big city. Exploring the unique elements of the television series from the 1960s, it's intriguing to delve into the origins of its title. Initially, one of the considered names for the show was Miss Independent. This choice reflected the independent spirit of Marlo Thomas, which was recognized and nicknamed by Danny Thomas. This alternative title would have offered a different angle on the show's theme, emphasizing the protagonist's self-reliant character. Anne Marie, the central character, hails from Brewster, New York, a detail that adds depth to her background. This small town origin plays into the narrative, especially when juxtaposing her life there with her ambitious pursuit in New York City. It also surfaces in a creative way in season one, episode 11, titled What's in a Name? Here, Anne Marie contemplates adopting the stage name Marie Brewster, an amalgamation of her first name and her hometown. This episode cleverly uses the theme of names and origins to explore identity, a recurring theme in the show. Furthermore, the episode introduces a humorous twist with Anne Marie's father referring to Don Hollinger as Hollinger Toledo, using a similar naming principle. This implies that Don is originally from Toledo. However, this detail is inconsistent with later episodes where Don and his family are depicted as being from St. Louis, Missouri. This discrepancy adds an interesting layer to the show's narrative structure and character development. These nuanced elements contribute to the series' charm and complexity. They not only provide background to the characters, but also engage with broader themes like identity and roots. The show's commitment to these details, even when they introduce inconsistencies, highlights its creative approach to storytelling and character development. In sum, the series from the 1960s is notable not just for its pioneering role in portraying an independent female lead, but also for its attention to detail in character backgrounds and the creative use of names and origins to enrich its narrative. These aspects, among others, have helped the show maintain its appeal across generations, offering both entertainment and thoughtful storytelling.